Hello everyone. In today's lesson, we are going to use timetables and to calculate elapsed time. Mindy lives near Melrose Arch in Johannesburg. She has planned a holiday to Cape Town after she finishes her final exams. She has booked a flight which takes off at 3.25 on a Wednesday afternoon from OR Tambo International Airport. Unfortunately, no one is available to take her to the airport, so she has chosen to take the Gau train bus and train to the airport. She will catch a bus from Melrose Arch to Rosebank Station. She will then catch the train to the airport. Mindy needs to get to the airport with enough time to check in. She needs to check in one hour before the flight takes off. Her flight takes off at 25 minutes past 3. If we subtract one hour from this time, we see that Mindy should check in by 2.25. Now that we know what time Mindy has to be at the airport, we need to determine which train she should catch from Rosebank Station. The best way to do this is to take a look at the train timetable. This is the timetable for the north-south line. Rosebank is on this line, but OR Tambo is not. OR Tambo International Airport lies on the east-west line. Mindy will have to catch a train from Rosebank to Santon Station and then change train lines. She will catch that train to the airport. According to the timetable, it takes 4 minutes to travel between Rosebank and Santon. There is a 12 minute wait before the train to the airport leaves Santon and then it takes 14 minutes to get to OR Tambo. This means that the total time taken from Rosebank to OR Tambo is 30 minutes. Mindy needs to allow at least 20 minutes to walk from OR Tambo station to the check-in counter. This means that she should aim to catch a train that leaves Rosebank roughly 50 minutes before her check-in time. 25 minutes past 2 subtract 50 minutes is quite a complicated problem. So let's look at how to make it more simple. First, let's subtract 25 minutes from 2.25. This gives us the time of 2 p.m. We have subtracted 25 minutes, which means that we still have another 25 minutes to subtract. This gives us a time of 25 minutes to 2. This means that we have to be on the train by 25 minutes to 2 at the latest. If we look at the times on the timetable, there's a train leaving Rosebank Station at 2 minutes past 1 and another one leaving at 22 minutes past 1. Mindy should aim to catch the train leaving at 22 minutes past 2. This means that she should try to be at the Rosebank station by 10 past 1. Remember that Mindy wants to catch the bus to the station, so the next step is to determine what time she should go to the bus stop. Here is the route map of the bus that goes to Melrose Arch. The bus will take roughly 13 minutes to arrive at Rosebank. From 9 o'clock in the morning, the bus leaves every 40 minutes. This means that if Mindy misses a bus, she will need to wait another 40 minutes until the next one arrives. It's a good idea for her to arrive at the bus stop 53 minutes before she needs to arrive at Rosebank Station. 10 past 1 minus 10 minutes gives us the time of 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock minus 43 minutes gives us a time of 17 minutes past 12. It is very important to be on time for airplanes, trains and buses as they leave at a predetermined time and do not wait for passengers who are late. I'm sure Mindy will have a great time. Thank you for joining us. Remember the task for this section can be found in the Working with Conversions and Time Task video. You'll also be able to learn more about measurements on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.